These inspections are really important um, for looking at how hospitals are performing from a number of perspectives now. They are to provide assurance to the public that actually there are a team of people that are thoroughly inspecting their hospitals for the quality of care, for the safety, for the effectiveness, for the responsiveness to patients and that they are well led. The main purpose of it really is to improve the patient experience, to get the best quality care um, for patients and to ensure as well that the hospital is using its resources to its best ability. The inspection enables us to get really down into the detail and find out exactly what is happening to people in hospital. These inspections are, are really making hospitals think about the way they do things, um, the way that they deliver their care to patients and to make sure that what they're doing is patient focused. It's a lot of information coming in, a lot of data coming in, but that's not the end of the story. The story begins when you walk through the door of the hospital today and you actually go and find out the care. When you find out the care, you actually get an insight into what it is like to be a patient here. The teams are multidisciplinary, so they're made up of lots of people with a different take on things. We're trying to look at this from every aspect to ensure that we are really challenging this from the top of the organisation to a very local level. There's quite a large team of us made up of clinical specialists, um, inspectors, experts by experience and they are split into groups to look at various core services around the hospital. We also have, and I think this is really critical, we have public representatives, we have lay representatives who are there to represent the patient and public perspective. My role as an expert by experience is to feel in the patient information uh, into the process so that in any decisions that are ultimately made, management are better informed to make those decisions. Being a patient, you bring that experience of coming to somewhere that you're not familiar with and not the expert about and you hold that much more, I think, in your mind when you come in as an expert by experience. My role as a doctor on these inspections is quite unique. Um, I think that I'm able to provide a slightly specialist input um, and perhaps be able to ask questions that lay people or non-professional medical people might not think to ask. I've been involved with this for a while and I've seen improvements, I've seen changes in attitudes, I've seen a, 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 an increased recognition and awareness that the patient is the important person in the process. For the public, I think there's a reassurance that we are being thorough, that we're looking at it from bathroom to boardroom and I think that's so important. Listening events are an opportunity for us to actually listen. Listen to the stories of the patient, the carers, the loved ones, the parents who actually bring their children, the children themselves. The listening events are very important because capturing what people have to tell us is fundamental to, to our work. The way that the listening events impact on the inspections is that by people telling us what really matters to them, and what they feel needs improving, it helps us to be able to focus our inspections to look at those areas that matters, that matters most to them. We are a responding organisation. We want to hear what people have to tell us. We, we are trying to develop lots of different pathways to enable people to, to be able to tell us their stories. It will allow a chance for the patients to come and talk to people who might be able to influence some sort of change in the hospital um, in an environment that is non-threatening and is non-clinical. Uh, and so they will probably be able to open up a bit more about, about their issues if they've got any. Hospitals are incredibly complicated things. Um, so I hope really that what we can get out of it for patients is that they actually can see that they've been listened to and that's been input into the report. If people want things to improve, then people should attend the listening event uh, because it's their opportunity to give their views, their opinions, their concerns, their plaudits to the team. I would really encourage people to go to the listening events and I think that's for two reasons. Uh, firstly, your information is really valuable to us. Secondly, we just want to get an idea of how the general community values their hospital. People get involved by the listening event by going onto our website where they can actually register to attend the listening event. Um, there is also the opportunity for people to be able to send in their comments using our web forms and by contacting our National Call Centre. Come along, engage with us. If we don't know, we can't do anything about it. So, yeah, please, come along and, and uh, let us know.